Welcome to the Spoken Tutorial on Hosting a Drupal Website. In this tutorial, we will learn to get our code and database ready for our website, host our Drupal website, and upload our local content on this website. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 16.04 and Firefox web browser. You can use any browser of your choice. To practice this tutorial, you will need a working internet connection, a web hosting control panel such as cPanel, and a domain name. You should also have basic knowledge of Drupal. If not, for relevant Drupal tutorials, please visit the link shown. First, let us learn about Drupal web hosting services. There are many web hosting services available such as GoDaddy, BigRock and HostCats. These service providers are cPanel based with an auto installer script. One has to pay to buy some space from these providers. To host a website, you will need the code and the database of your local Drupal website. Let us open our local Drupal website which we are going to host. We will clear the cache first. To do that, click on the configuration menu. Under development, click on the performance option. Here, remove the check marks from aggregate CSS files and aggregate JavaScript files options. Click on the save configuration button. Now, click on the Clear All Caches button. You can see that the caches are cleared. Now, we will keep our code ready. To do that, open the file browser. Go to the folder where we have installed Drupal locally. Now, go to Apps, Drupal, HTDocs folder. Inside this HTDocs folder, we have the code of our local website. Let us compress or zip this folder. I will save this in the downloads folder on my machine. Now our code is ready. Next, we will get our database ready. Let us open the PHP MyAdmin of our local website. Click on the database named bitnami underscore Drupal 8. Click on export button in the top panel. Then choose the export method as custom. Under the section Object Creation Options, put a check mark on Add Drop Table option. Scroll down and click on Go button at the bottom. Click on OK button to save the file. Open the default downloads folder and see the exported SQL file and the htdocs zip file. Next, let us learn to set up a cPanel. To do this, click on the setup button. Here we have to choose our domain name. I have already bought a domain named codingfordrupal.info. You have to use your own domain name here. Details of how to purchase a domain are given in the additional material link of this tutorial. Click on next button. Here we have to choose a data center. I will click on Asia and click on next button. In cPanel username, we have to give our username. For the password, I will simply click on the generate a password button. You can type any username and password as per your choice. Note down the login details for future use. Then click on the next button. After this, it asks us whether we want WordPress to build our website. We are going to host a Drupal website. So click on No, Not Now button, then click on the Finish button. It could take several minutes to complete the setup. Once the setup is done, we will see a window like this. Here, click on the Manage button. Our cPanel main window has opened now. We can see our website name, IP address, etc. Please have a look at this page and explore the options thoroughly. Next, we have to create a database in the cPanel. 
Open the file browser and go to the folder where we have installed Bitnami Drupal stack. Now go to Apps, Drupal, HTDocs, Sites, Default, Settings.php. The Settings.php file will be open in an editor. Scroll down to the end of the file. Here you can see the database details. You have to use these details to create a database in the cPanel. Switch to cPanel main window. Under databases, click on MySQL database wizard. Now copy the database name from settings.php file and paste it as the database name in the MySQL database wizard. Click on next step button. Copy and paste the username and password. Click on Create User button. Put a check mark on the All Privileges option. Click on Next Step button. Click on Return to MySQL Databases. Here we can see the database and the user which we created. Next, let us learn to install Drupal in the cPanel. Click on the Home button in the top panel. Under Web Applications, click on Drupal. On the right side, click on Install this application button. Under Location, you can see the domain name. Under Version, choose the version which you have installed in your local machine. I will choose 8.2.6. Under Settings, we have to give our preferred username and password for the administrator. Note down the login details for future use. In the advanced section, we can set up the database, email and backup. I will choose let me manage these settings. In database management, choose let me choose an existing database. In the database name, choose the database which we created earlier. In the database username and password, give the details from the settings.php file. In table prefix, Keep the field empty. Now click on install button. Once the installation is done, we can see our website name here. Click on it. Our website is successfully hosted. But we have to update it with our local content. So let us learn to upload our local content on this website. Switch to the cPanel main window and click on the home button in the top panel. We will open the file manager of the cPanel. Make sure that the web root option is selected. Click on the go button. Now we are in the public underscore HTML folder. Click on the upload button in the top panel. Click on the browse button and select the htdocs.zip file from the downloads folder. The file is now uploaded successfully. If you have a file that is bigger in size, please use FileZilla or any SSH client for uploading. Now close this window. In the file manager window, go to htdocs.zip file and click on it. Now to extract this file, click on the extract button in the top panel. In the pop-up window that appears, click on extract file button. Once the file is extracted, double click on the htdocs folder. Now go to the sites folder. Here we will change the permission of the default folder. To do that, click on the permissions column and change it to 755. This will give right permission to the user. Then go to the default folder and change the permissions of the settings.php file. Once again, Click on the permissions column and change it to 600. This will give right permission to user so that we can edit the settings.php file. To open the settings.php file, click on the code editor button in the top panel. Click on the edit button. Scroll down to the end of the file. Here we can see the database details. Remove the unix underscore socket line. Now click on the Save Changes button in the top panel. Click on the Up One Level button in the top panel. 
Once again, click on the Up One Level button. Now, we have to move this content to the public underscore HTML folder. To select the files and folders, click on the Select All button. Click on the Move button in the top panel. In the file path, remove htdocs. Click on the Move Files button. In the side panel, click on the folder public underscore html. Now, the folder public underscore html has been replaced with the code of our local website. Next, we have to import our local database to our live website. To do that, switch to the cPanel main window. Under Databases, click on PHP MyAdmin. In the side panel, click on the database which we created earlier. Click on the Import button in the top panel. Then click on the Browse button. Now choose the SQL file which we exported from our local Drupal. Lastly, click on the Go button. You can see that the SQL file has been imported successfully. Now open a new tab in the browser and type your domain name in the address bar. Our Drupal website is hosted successfully. With this, we come to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we have learned to get our content and database ready for our website, host our Drupal website, and upload our local content on this website. The video at the following link summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates to those who pass online tests. For more details, please write to us. Spoken Tutorial project is funded by NMEICT Ministry of Human Resource Development and NVLI Ministry of Culture, Government of India. This is Priya from IIT Bombay. Thanks for joining.